In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create the fastest voice AI dashboard you've ever seen using real core data. And even if you have zero coding experience, this is something you can whip up in under 10 minutes like I did last week and is what I'm about to show you right now. It's something that we use for our clients and their existing builds. And the best part is you'll be able to do the exact same when you finish watching this video. Let me just show you how fast this dashboard is compared to traditional dashboard softwares out there and how anyone can create the exact same thing with zero experience whatsoever. I'm going to be showing you the exact breakdown of using Lovable connected with your N8N instance and alongside Super Database to actually store all of this information and pretty much combine them all together to create this sleek design that you can sell to clients for thousands of dollars. If you ever wanted to create professional dashboards, but pretty much never knew how to, or thought it was too complicated or time consuming, well, this video is for you. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before I even break down the dashboard and how we create it, I want to quickly illustrate the softwares that we're using and how everything comes together so that even if you're a complete beginner, you fully understand what we're doing here. So we're using Vapi to obviously create our voice AI calls, right? It's pretty much the phone provider that we're using, the prompts, the actual AI agent. And then what we're going to do is inside of N8N, we're going to store all of this call data that's eventually going to be sent to our super base, which is pretty much like our universal storage system. And to show you what I mean by this, if we hop into N8N, and by the way, you're going to get the full template for free in this video, link in the description. We're pretty much going to set out this automation, which triggers every single day. That's just how I have it set up, but obviously you can do a manual trigger. We then create a HTTP request to Vapi, and we pretty much gather all of the call data. So you can see here, I have 87 items. What this pretty much means is that for my Vapi account, I've made a total of 87 calls using Vapi for pretty much my lifetime. And obviously this will vary depending on, I guess this will pretty much just vary depending on how many calls you've made. For me, it's made 87. Yours is going to be different. Then what I do, very important, is I create a date and time module, which pretty much gathers the difference between the start date and the end date. And I'll show you why we do that in a second. Actually, I'll explain it to you right now. Pretty much this HTTP request gathers all the call data, but it doesn't give us the duration of the call. It gives us the duration in terms of the messages like these. So these are in milliseconds and it's for pretty much every single interaction during the call. And it's not useful information to us. So logically what I've done is I've taken the, where is it? I've taken the start time and the end time and pretty much found the difference between that and taken that as the time difference, which I use as the duration of the call. Then we use a set field to pretty much extract the call ID, the end of call reason, the duration of the call, which is what I just talked about, the customer phone number. This is only undefined because I made a web call, so there's no phone number associated with it. The start time of the call, the cost of the call, the transcript and the recording URL. And obviously you can change this depending on what you want, doesn't really matter. And then we pretty much send that information to Superbase, which is exactly what's happening here. So this is gonna store all of our call data. And if I hop into my Superbase, which by the way, if you're super confused on how this works, do not worry. All you have to do when you hop into Superbase is create an account, uh, create a project, and you can literally just leave it as that. Lovable has a very cool UI where you can actually connect your super base directly to Lovable and then Lovable will pretty much create the table for you, create all the data for you. Super slick, super easy to do. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second, but Lovable can pretty much create the table for you and then you just have to trigger this N8N automation to basically put the information inside of it, right? So your table is going to look empty compared to mine. It's going to have all of this information which is what Lovable is going to use to create our custom dashboard. And by the way, you can obviously change this however you want. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. It's free to add any other information like the actual assistance you're using, pretty much anything else, to be honest, I've covered most of the things here. But once we've done that, we can actually hop into Lovable, which is our main coding interface, and actually create this dashboard. And I've already gone ahead and created this dashboard for you guys, so you don't have to watch me recreate the entire thing. And it's really slick. So what I pretty much did is I pretty much said, create for me a custom voice AI dashboard that looks similar to the image I have attached and connects directly with my super base to get all the relevant info for the graphs. We will not be having average call duration. So basically what I've done is I've grabbed these screenshots from Vapi, which is their call dashboard. And I've just told Lovable that, hey, use this sleek design. I like this design personally, use it for my own custom dashboard and pretty much just do that. 
So I'm going to reload this and it's gone ahead and made the initial dashboard for me. And then I pretty much just went through, did a little bit of debugging. And by the way, guys, you see these responses I'm giving it. It's like one line responses, literally so easy to build something like this in 2025. You could literally just type in what you want and Lovable will take care of the rest. And here I added more screenshots because I wanted to customize it a bit more. Here I wanted to create custom log details. The world is your oyster, pretty much. You can do pretty much anything you want with this system. And it's so beginner friendly that anyone can get started. And then I pretty much went ahead and talked to this a bit more to create this custom voice AI dashboard. Now, I think currently there are some issues with Lovable and it's not correctly connecting to the super database. I'm not sure if that's just me, it could be anyone, but I'll show you this dashboard that I had at the beginning and just a walkthrough of what I've created. So we've gathered all the call minutes, which is 41 minutes in total, and then the total cost of these calls. And you see down here, we have 87 records, which is the exact same from the call request I made. It's real time. And even if I click on one of these, I can look at the call details, I can look at the recording, and I can look at the transcript. And I can Hello, even play this the is Elon Musk from SpaceX. How can I assist you today? I can even play the recording, which is insane. Just from typing English, just from English. You can obviously change the date range as well. I mean, let's see if this actually works. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I'm wrong with the super database, so it's not working correctly. But I guess once they fix it, it'll actually make more sense. And then obviously you can go into here. I have it specifically so that if I want to click on a specific day, you can obviously see all the calls that were made during the day, the total minutes, the total calls, the total cost. And it's this really sleek design. And then here we have pretty much the reason the call ended, which I thought was really nice. And yeah, the kind of as I've gotten in the span of 10 minutes, it's really damn cool. I think this is awesome technology that we're pretty much interfacing with in this current day and age. And the only step up that I see from this technology is using cursor. Cursor is great because it's a lot more flexible. You don't have daily rate limits like Lovable does because I'm using the free version. And by the way, I'm using the free version for Lovable, like how good this technology is. And it's truly incredible what you can do with this. And yeah, what we can do interestingly is once we've created our dashboard, obviously we've connected to super database, we can actually push this to GitHub and we can publish. So let's say I wanted to publish this site and we can click publish and it should publish it to this lovable app. So I have just published this site. And now if I go onto voice AI dashboard, Haven lovable app, I pretty much view this. Now, what I want to show you is how you can actually make this practical. So inside of here, I hovered over these two modules, which is the date range and schedule trigger. Pretty much what I've done here logically is I've triggered this to activate and gather all the calls for each day. And the reason I do this is because inside a super database, you don't want the same data to be duplicated inside of the table for obvious reasons. So logically what I've done here is I've scheduled this for every single day. I've created this code using Claude to get the time range between the current day it is right now and then one day previous. And then what you can do inside of this HTTP request is if we hop over to VAPI, there is a specific documentation for this API call which allows us to filter it by the time. So you can see here at created at, this will return items when the created at is greater than a specified value, which will be the day minus one. And then created at less than is this will return the items where the created at is less than the specified value. And I'll quickly show you how this works logically. So what I've done here is I've pretty much added two query parameters. And the reason I do this is because inside of the VAPI documentation, these are considered query parameters, where I have the created at greater than, which is the start date, and then the created at less than, which is the end date. And what's pretty much going to happen here is it's going to output all the call data from pretty much today. Now, I haven't actually made a call using this system, so it's not going to return any call data. But if I were to go inside of VAPI and actually make a call to like my assistants, for example, I'll just talk to this assistant real quick. Okay, so just made a call using VAPI, and now it's actually returned call data for this specific date, and then we can go ahead and add that to the super database. Okay, the issue that I'm having here, which is upstream connection data or disconnect connection timeout. Okay, go ahead and fix the issue. I just refreshed the page, but we pretty much added this call data to our super database which once it loads, it'll go from 78 rows to 79 rows. And that is pretty much how we're able to capture call data every single day. And that updates our lovable 
call record. So fingers crossed, if I update this, okay, it's wrong with the super database. I don't think this is my issue. I think this is a lovable issue, but this should update to 88. And it's pretty damn awesome what we've done here, but pretty much everything I told you in this video won't matter or even help you if you don't know how to create a voice AI agent for yourself. And that is exactly what this video is going to show you how to do and how you can actually create your own voice AI agent that is able to book people into your calendar. And uh, without further ado, I'm Ali Mohammed. link in the description if you want to get in touch with our team and actually build out one of these fully flushed dashboards for yourself. That doesn't take 10 minutes and is actually professional. But without further ado, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.